Welcome to an online or channel for educational videos. Welcome back to our series of stories from Aesop. Let's get started. Today's story is the lion and the fox. Lion sighed, his back ached, his paws hurt, even his tail felt sore. The trouble is, he realized, I'm getting old. He lay down outside his lair and watched as an antelope leaped past him nearly brushing his nose with her tail. I would have had her for breakfast once, thought Lion. Now I can't even find the energy to lift my head. As Lion lay in the morning sun, he realized something would have to be done. If this is what it's like to be old, I'll never get to eat again. I must come up with a plan. Are you all right, Lion? asked a passing bird, watching him as he lay with his head on his paws. Lion shook his head. The bird hopped a little closer. Lion looked up. The bird was now very near his jaws. I could catch her with my tongue, moosed Lion. I never, I've never seen an animal come this close to me before. Then in a flash, a plan came to him. I'm not feeling very well, moaned Lion. Not well at all. I'm going to drag myself. I'm going to drag myself off to that cave on the hillside and lie there, feeling awful. Of course, it'll be very lonely being in that, old, that cold cave all alone. Poor Lion, tweeted the bird her bright eyes full of sympathy. Yes, said Lion. Please tell the other animals, as I would love some company. With those words, he dragged himself off to the cave, off to the cave, covering his smile with his paw. Lion waited and waited. At last, around midday, a warthog came to see him. I've heard you are unwell, said the warthog. Oh, I am, Lion replied. Warthog came a little closer. Very unwell, Lion went on. Warthog came closer still. You'll notice my eyes are dull and my mane is lank, said Lion. As Warthog looked on, Lion seized at the moment and pounced. Warthog was so close, he didn't, he didn't stand a chance. Delicious, said Lion, smacking his lips. Oh, the joy of a full stomach. My plan is working perfectly. All that day, animals came to visit Lion. First a hare, then a buffalo followed by a zebra and a wildebeest. Lion ate them all. Trickery gets you everywhere, he thought. He thought to himself, all these animals are walking straight into my trap. I'm starting to enjoy my old age. As the days passed, Fox began to notice something strange was happening. Lion was unwell. Everyone said, Lots of animals were going to visit him, but none seemed to be coming back. I think I'd better find out what's going on, Fox decided. So he set off up the hill to Lion's cave. Come in, come in, croaked Lion from within the dark depths of the cave. How kind of you to come. Have you heard that I'm unwell? I do so enjoy my visitors. Fox stepped forward, then looked down at the ground. He looked again and felt the hairs of his coat stand up in shock. What are you waiting for, Fox? asked Lion testily. Come in! It's just that I can see a lot of footprint, footprints going into your cave, remarked Fox, but none coming out. Well, isn't that a funny thing, said Lion. Funny for you, said Fox. Not so funny for your visitors. I'd better go and warn the other animals, he added, already backing out. 
Come back, called the lion. What are you talking about? Don't pretend you don't know, retorted Fox. This lair is a trap. All those who come in have walked straight into your mouth. Grrr, said Lion, then shut his jaws with an angry snap. The moral of the story is, if you are wise, you will look out for signs of danger. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like, share, and comment. Thank you.